I get to love you It's the best thing that I'll ever do I get to love you It's a promise I'm making to you Whatever may come Your heart I will choose Forever I'm yours Forever I do I get to love you I get to love you It's the best thing that I'll ever do I get to love you It's a promise I'm making to you Whatever may come, your heart I will choose Forever I'm yours, forever I do I get to love you 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 That was I Get to Love You by Ruel and I played it straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video des uh, description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. In just a moment, I'll do a basic tutorial covering everything I just played. At the very end, I'll do a slow motion close-up play along that you might find helpful. But right now, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want hundreds more, free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each one with a link to its own free video tutorial and play along, just like this one, then check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. All right, now, this uh, is a pretty easy song. It is. Uh, yes, I did an arpeggio. That might scare you, uh, and it might be really hard if you only have one finger on your right hand or something, but it's it was pretty straightforward. I think I'll be able to, I think even beginners will be able to do it. Uh, what I will tell you is, if you're a beginner, you can ignore the little superscripted numbers that I have on some of the, the chords. You can always just play a G instead of having to play a second position G, which is what I'm, what I'm going to show. You can always just play a G, and it'll be fine, and it'll be in key, and it'll be fine with other people around you, even if they're playing a fancier version. It's all fine. Okay, so let me start off saying the intro. The intro I'm playing only... Uh, all of my plucking and all of my arpeggios in this song, I don't need my, my pinky because I only have four strings. I've got one finger stuck to each string and that's it. If you want to know, well, what, what finger did I use to pluck that string? Well, these are the string assignments for this song. 
It doesn't always work that way with arpeggios, but for this song, this is, you know, those are the assignments. That's where they were. So when I started out, I'm playing just three strings, the three strings farthest from the floor. Generally speaking, we count from the floor. So that's, I'm leaving off the first string, playing the second, third, and fourth. And I'm, I'm playing a D, right? I've got a D and I'm just doing this. That's it. And then I pick up my ring finger for that D suspended second. Which, by the way, if you look in the chord sheet, they're right above each other. D suspended second, A suspended fourth. It's the same chord on a ukulele, at least. It's exactly the same chord. I call them different because we went from the D to the D suspended second. Whereas before, you know, later we're going from an A suspended fourth to an A. It's a variation of the A there, see? And here it's a variation of the D. So, technical. I don't know that much music theory, but I think that's correct. So, anyway, but you can think of it however you like. So, so I'm starting out in the intro just there. That's it. And then pick up one finger. And then for the rest of the song, I'm playing all four strings. For the rest of it. And so the only change now from verse one, I go back to a D and I'm playing four strings. One... One look at you, my whole, you notice, it's only, you're only on that D for three plucks. One look at you, how's that go? One look at you, there it is, one look at you. And then before it seems like you should, like before you finish the line, you switch to the G. My whole That's kind of a quirk of the song that I think makes it uh, additionally enchanting. So from a D to the G, I'm going to go over chord transitions here. From the D to the G, my ring finger is on the right string already. It's just going to slide up one fret and drop the other fingers around it. It's doing that back and forth, right? So D, G, and back down to D, the same thing. And then from the D, you're going to go to an A and back. So these have to pick up and kind of switch position almost from the D. In line. And you hold off for one. That's what that H means. Hold. Or hang. Hang. I prayed for you before I called you mine. And then from the A. See, I'm going, I just dropped my, uh, my ring finger. I leave the A there and I just drop my ring finger and I've got the A suspended fourth. From there, from my there, my index finger is still hanging out on that string. It just slides up to that G, and I'm gonna then go to the second position G. I'm just gonna drop my pinky. I want to hear that. So, oh, I can't believe it. Here, it gives a little bit of a different sound. It's still a G. It's just a G chord. I'm just going like G, 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 G. Oops, sorry. Those are all G's, right? Playing up the neck. It's still a G, you can just play an open G if you want, but the way I'm doing it, I can't be, drop a pinky. Leave it. Now your index finger sliding down one fret. True, sometimes back up. Oh, I can't believe it. And now I'm gonna go to this, A suspended fourth. I get to, now I'm doing a third position G. That's up here. For this, I need to bar the second. Again, you could just play a G if you want. I get to love you. It's the best thing that I'll ever do. That sounds nice, right? It does. What I'm playing is just playing it up a little higher, so it sounds a little different, like this. I like the way that you you got you got this sort of a drone sound on the A string, right? It had some so like more consistency and it was more similar to the original. So that's the way I did that. So I'm barring the second fret, dropping three more fingers for that G third position G. I can't claim it's an easy chord. It's probably the hardest chord in this song, but that's the way I'm playing it. 
I get to love you. Now, now, instead of just a pluck, the pluck of all four is on the same pattern, same rhythm. But in between that, I'm plucking with my thumb and index finger. So I got a one, two, three, one, two, three pattern here going. Love you. It's the best thing that I'll ever do. So, uh, and by the way, you can do that even if you do the easier version of the chords, right? Love you. It's the best thing that I'll ever do. Sounds lovely, right? Okay, so again, I'm starting with this rough G. Bar, drop three more fingers. But then, all I have to do is pick up these two fingers and I've got my third position D, or second position D. So from here, just pick it up. And then all I have to do is drop one finger back right where it came from, and that's the B minor. That's it. And now, for the A, I'm going to drop my A and I'm going to leave my pinky in there and just slide it one down one fret. So, that's what that is. And then back to the same thing. Love you. The promise I'm making to you. Whatever may come, your best, your heart I will choose. And then I do the lower positions because I just like hearing the, the fullness of that. Forever I'm yours. Forever I do. And then I'm back to the... Okay. Uh, that's it. I think that's the whole song. I am now going to play slow motion through the intro, uh, verse one, the pre-chorus and chorus. Most of the rest, I know the bridge is a little bit different, but uh, most of the rest is repetitive. So I'm just gonna play through that part. Close up on, I guess, both of my hands so that you can see how I'm plucking and doing that arpeggio too. So starting out on that D intro, slow motion, as if it's not slow enough already. <laughs> Five, six, three fingers. Seven and one look at you. Bye.